Hi, it's Bernard, the author of AirPrint Activator. Tonight, I'll show you how you can actually share your printers using AirPrint Activator with your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. So let's say you've downloaded AirPrint Activator. Uh, you simply uh, open up the zip file by, by double-clicking on it, and then here you go, you've got AirPrint Activator to launch the application simply double click on it it will tell you that it's a newly downloaded application just click open now you get the actual airprint activator window as you can see right now uh, it's airprint is turned off and it's offline as can be seen here so to activate airprint on your mac you can click on the off switch and sharing is turned on. Now notice here in the list of active printer, shared is empty. That's because we're not sharing any of the local printers yet. So to share printers, you have to go into your system preference. So we're gonna go into system preference. And here we're just gonna go into the print and fax area. And as you can see, I've got a single printer on my system called Brother DCP7030. So to actually share this printer uh, with your iPod, iPhone, iPads, just click share this printer on my network. You may notice that an um, error message may show up. It's sometime a bug with the uh, OS. But now here in the actual AirPrint Activator, you will see that AirPrint Brother is now shared. And you can see that this is the name of my system, iMac 17. So it kind of gives you an idea on what system this AirPrint printer is being shared. To confirm that sharing is on, you can go and Interestingly enough, printer sharing is kind of partially turned off, so you might have to actually force printer sharing by activating this function here if it's not already activated for you. Again, it might be a bug with the uh, Mac OS X uh, software. So going back here now, as you can see, printer is actually no longer have this error message. If you want to stop sharing the printer, you simply click on share, deselect a share printer, and now you'll notice that it's gone from the AirPrint Activator shared printer list. If you want to reshare it, you actually click on it, and now notice no bug this time, so things are clear, and uh, things will be kept shared. Now, once, you're, once you've done that, you can simply close this application. The printer will be kept shared in the background even if you reboot your pc it will come back as long as you're logged in with the current user right now i'm logged in as user bernard as you can see so if you actually log out of that user uh, you will no longer share the printer so sharing is done on a per user basis so that's one thing to know as well since there is no need to do administrator uh, or work with this application it's done on a user basis so the user has to be logged in for airprint to be uh, effective so i hope uh, this helped you get printing going with your ipod ipads and iphone device bye